the House Freedom Caucus, which is the largest group of holdouts uh, in this whole situation. And the chairman of that group last night at various points, Joe, he said they'd hopefully get there, that he wanted to get to yes. And even at one point that they had an agreement in principle, that isn't necessarily different from the tone that he struck throughout the course of these negotiations, but it is quite different from other members of that caucus that he has differed with. Uh, at 11 p.m. last night, which is an eternity in legislative time, the spokesperson for that group tweeted that there was no deal yet. Many members still had issues with the text. But the White House will keep pitching this. The president and the vice president today will meet with the House Freedom Caucus at the White House following a meeting with top staff yesterday. But as they move to placate this more conservative faction, some more moderate Republicans seem to be defecting. For instance, Congressman Charlie Dent of Pennsylvania and Dave Young of Iowa have just in the last day announced that they opposed it. And even the chair of the Rules Committee, which adjourned at midnight without a vote last night, acknowledged that he wasn't all in. If we do something different, it is hard to do it right. I will be quite blunt with you, two-thirds of this bill is exactly what I think is right, and a third has been in negotiation, and that's what you get with a compromise. That's what you get with a compromise. Well, the market shrugged off a lack of a compromise yesterday, but Joe, when you look at some of the statements of the 20 some Republicans that still oppose this bill, they say things like, I cannot support this right now or in its current form or at present. And it's unclear how far the White House will be able to go to actually move to win them over and what exactly the sticking points are, because for each member of Congress, it seems to be something different. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.